us look at uh, goods and services. Goods and services. I believe that all of you know what goods are and what services are. I will define then I go to my main point which is uh, categories of goods and services. What are goods? Goods, anything which you can touch and feel. Anything like that pen which you are holding, maybe that locker, those are what we call goods. So simply say that goods are items which are tangible. Items that are tangible. In other words, with what you mean by the word tangible, you can touch and feel. You can touch and feel. Anything, anything, e.g. a pen, a paper, uh, maybe a locker. So for anything which you can touch and feel is what we call goods what are services. Services in other words like what I'm offering now, the service of teaching. Something which you cannot touch. They are actions, simply actions. So these are items which are intangible or simply say they are actions that can be sold. In normal cases they are intangible. One cannot touch and feel. That is what we call services. Let us look at categories of goods. Let us look at how goods are being categorized. They are not limited and they are you don't they don't have a price you get them freely for example sunshine air ah the rivers and so forth economic goods on the other hand economic from the word economy mm -hmm. these are goods which you need to pay something so that you can get them in other words they have money value like this pen i bought this pen at 100 shillings so it you must pay something so that you get them. That is what we call economic goods. Another category of goods, producer and consumer goods. Producer and consumer goods, as the name suggests. Produce, produce. From the word of produce, we have producer. What do you of uh, producer goods? These are goods which are used to produce other goods. Goods used to produce other goods. For example, a tractor. You can take a panga or a gem and go to the farm, produce base. That is an example of a producer goods. They are not like all capital goods. Another name is capital goods. They are used to produce other goods. While consumer goods, these are goods which are ready to be consumed by the final person. And that final person is what we call a consumer. They are ready. They are ready to be consumed. Another category of uh, goods, another category of uh, goods is what we call private and public goods. When we talk of private, private we mean something which is big which is being owned by a person in particular or it is owned by a group of persons in their private capacities for example uh, this calculator belongs to me and it is mine so these are private commodity in my own private capacities i own this so it is a private good 
In, on the other hand, a part in the talk of public, we mean goods which belong to no one in particular. They belong to no one. They are just, they, they, or they belong to the government. They, nobody can claim that that item is mine. No. They belong to no one in particular. They might be owned by the government or a given group of people, but not in their private capacities. That is what we call a public goods. Number four, we have material and non-material goods. When we talk of material goods, we mean goods which are tangible, which you can touch. While non-material goods, we mean goods which are not tangible. In other words, here, yeah, these can mean goods, then the other one can mean uh, services. The other one can mean services. We also have another category of goods, which is perishable and durable goods. Perishable goods and durable goods. Most of you know of uh, flowers. And if I can ask you to mention one of the features of flower, one will say they are perishable, which is correct. They are goods which can go bad easily unless they are stored in under good conditions. When you talk of perishable goods, we actually mean those goods which will go bad very easily. While durable goods are goods which can last for a long time without going bad. Like this whiteboard here. This whiteboard has lasted for a long time. It, it, it does not go bad. It is a durable commodity. It is a durable uh, commodity. Those are some of the classification of uh, goods and maybe to just finish with the final one which is intermediate and intermediate goods and finished goods when we talk of intermediate goods we mean those goods which are taken as raw materials they are goods which are not usable in their form but what do they mean? They need to be processed further. For example, e.g., sisal. Sisal needs to be processed further so that it can become much more useful, even a skin. To make a shoe, you can uh, maybe process them further so that you can be able to uh, get actually what you want. That's why most of them are raw materials. Finished goods, these are goods which can be, they no longer need any, pro any processing, they are just usable. In their form. These are the six categories of goods, and uh, I will stop there for today. We meet.